The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Okay. Good morning, and welcome to Traders Corner's March Online Trading Summit. On our panel today, we've handpicked six professional trading experts of the highest caliber. They've agreed to share their most consistent and profitable strategies with us today in a free educational forum. In today's Investor Summit, we're going to learn a wide range of topics from software that forces you to obey your own rules, called the Discipline Manager, to how to leverage artificial intelligence into an automated strategy. So let's not waste any more time. Today's show is packed with great information. Our first presenter, who was in the fire service for 40 plus years, started trading futures on his days off 40 years ago. If you struggle with the psychological side of emotions when it comes to money management, then our next presenter has a solution for you. It's a software program called the Discipline Manager. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present Control Risk with your Discipline Manager tool is Mr. Stephen Trumper of Trumper.com. Welcome back to Trader's Corner, Steve. Hi, hey, Rob. Thanks a lot. But uh, I haven't been trading for 40 years. I was in a fire service 40 years, but I haven't been trading for 40 years. So I didn't start. 40 that. years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So, but uh, anyway, no, I appreciate it. And thanks you and uh, Trader's Corner for having me back here again. And I just uh, go through the my Discipline Manager uh, webinar, hopefully you know, hopefully introduce some people to it and, uh, you know, go from there. Basically, um, I just got a little slideshow presentation and hopefully give you some good information. <clears throat> so, oh, by the way, I'm just ending a cold. So uh, if I, uh, if I, uh, my voice seems to be kind of like a uh, little <clears throat> parched or something like that, you have to excuse it. But in any event, so today we're just going to go over the discipline manager and you know what is it and if you even need it at all and uh, show you how to establish your rules. I think that's mainly the main thing. A lot of people have constant questions over all the time. And then um, you know show, show you what will happen if you breach your limits and, and then what will happen obviously if you hit your goals. And then um, you know the cost of what it what it takes to throw it on your machine and then um, you know how, how you could download it and, and play with it for a little while. And then, um, you know, any questions and answers and as i said mostly it's probably going to be uh you know rules rules and how to get different types of rules and things but in any event as he said i was uh been in the fire service 40 years i retired in 19. um you know i started trading uh you know years back on options and you know um you know stocks and all that kind of stuff forex a little bit and then i kind of ended up getting the futures and, and i kind of like just made more sense so i've been there ever since but um i still struggle with it and that's where the discipline manager came along to be and that is because uh you know we'll go through it but i definitely have have my own issues as everybody does and if you're here listening to this you might have the same issues but uh but basically this was designed built and put together for me <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there but in any event um you know, I did have this in the slide presentation. I really don't need to show it. Um, everybody knows all the risks and whatnot, but I don't, the discipline manager doesn't give trades or do trades for you. And I certainly don't advocate any. Uh, if anything, it prevents you from trading. So on the contrary, I really don't really need this slide, but it's in here, so I'll let it be. But in any event, you know, money management statistics, you know, as, as if maybe you've looked in the, you know, Google or whatever, you've checked it out, but a lot of traders fail. Um, they just lose. They break down, or you know, these. Or after a while, they just get to break even, and after a while, they just say, you know, I'm not done with it, and do something else. So it does take a, a while, and I'm one of those that does take a while. And I think a lot of the issue is, at least for me, we did the psychology, and we even had some psychology um, webinars, if you will, uh, with the doctor and whatnot. We took, you know, kind of like a Mark Douglas thing, and uh, we went over some of that. Um, you know, the hope, the greed, the fear, regret, and all that lack of the training plans, you know, no, no plan is a plan to fail kind of situation. So we went through all that, but that still hits us today. And if you want to go look at this is a couple years ago, but if you want to go look at today, I'm sure it's probably going to be the same, you know, as far as the statistics out there. So what, you know, why do they fail? Uh, you know, as I mentioned there, you know, <clears throat> failure to limit your losses, you know, that's just such a big thing. And uh, mine was over trading. I just, I, maybe it was a fear of missing out, you know, the FEMO. So maybe I over traded because I didn't want to uh, lose the trade, whatever it might be. Everybody's got their own, um, you know, 
issues, skeletons in their closet, if you will. So what we need to do is, you know, with the fear, we just need to, you know, cut the cut the winners, you know, uh, cut the losers short and the winners, let them go. You've heard that before. And, um, you know, the, the emotions really takes it. And, and a lot of people have now, you know, gotten into algos and me being one of them only because it does take that emotional part out of it. It just sets up before you know it, you're in the trade. And when you look, you're like, okay, well, I, you know, yeah, it's, it's my rules. So let's see what happens. And it just takes that whole what if situation out of it. So it does to me, it helps a little bit, but um, in any event, so you've got to define your risk and, you know, accept the risk and go all, um, you know, be planned on, on all your risk part of it, because that's, that's a big part of it. And the, the, the worst part is the weight part, you know, for, for discretionary trading with algos, it's not so bad because they just kind of do it. And when things line up, it goes, but with, with discretionary trading, like, you know, how I got started with, and it's, you know, my worst four letter word was that weight. And I'm kind of like a impatient guy. I'm more of adrenaline junkie. That's kind of maybe why I got in the fire service. I don't know, but in any event, um, You've got to master the ability to wait. This actually was a screenshot that I had that I had uh, on my desktop on the computer. And when you know, turn on your computer, I'd, I'd have this on there with all the icons around it and whatnot. So, um, you know, constantly see it all the time. But you've got to control your trades. And, you know, remember, we're, you know, we're not we're not traders. We're waiters, you know. And unfortunately, I just got so tired of it and just waiting and waiting. And that's where my... My FEMO kind of just, just the board trade. Who hasn't taken a board trade? Well, my time's running out. I'm running out of time. I'll just get in now because, you know, it might not be meeting all my rules, but I'll just get in now anyway. That was my problem. And obviously the market doesn't care about you. So in any event, psychology and discipline kind of go hand in hand. Um, you know, you got to got to try to get out. If you're getting out too quickly, you just got to hold it. You know, whatever you're Whatever your rules are, you've got to let it go and not and not change it midstream. And so basically the discipline manager cannot help you with your psychology, but it will help you with your discipline. And then that will lead to a healthier psychology. Actually, somebody told me that or I got that somewhere and and I just it just kind of hit home. Like it's totally true. Because when you when you have your discipline and your rules and and it, and it goes on, it's like, well, if it loses, it loses it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I've done what I could do. So um, that's a big thing. But you definitely want to control your, you know, your losses. Um, you know, Warren Buffett's rule, never lose money. And rule number two, don't forget rule number one. You know, you just never lose money. That's easy for him to say. But uh, when you've got, you know, an account and you're, and, uh, you know, you got a family, spouse, whatever the case may be. And, you know, it's, it's stressful. So I don't have to tell you. So if you could... You know, you got the four things. You got the big wins, the small wins, the small losses, and the big losses. And if you could just eliminate some of those big losses, you'd be fine. Small losses, that's fine, but it's got to be manageable. And everybody has ATMs. I'm assuming everybody has ATMs and know what they are. You know, you know the automatic trade management uh, and stop losses that just automatically come on. Um, but they're kind of like treated like a similar to an insurance policy. You know, you never want to use them, but they're there if you need them. Um, some people call them uh, catastrophic stops if they're, you know, really big type of situation, but whatever they are, and nobody really knows the risk reward part of it. it it's, if, if everybody knew what the reward was, then it's not the issue. Everybody could manage the risk, but the reward part, nobody knows. I mean, the market, you've seen it, you know, some days it does things and some days it doesn't. It's like, who knows what it's doing? So, I personally don't like targets myself. I just let my stop be my target, obviously trailing it up. In any event, the, uh, you know, so the risk side of it is, you know, controlled by the stop part of it or stop loss. Um, but you don't want to move it. Of course, move it a little tiny bit here and there, no problem. But if you, if you, you know, start moving it down and then moving it more and more and more, that, that just gets a little bit, uh, you don't want to get involved in that. And the last one, obviously, I was involved in that too. You know, you get a little pissed off, and um, you know, you do the revenge trade. And I'm sure we've all been there too. But moral of the story is, you never want to give up. You know, you you, you really got to just keep going at it. You get on the weekends, and nights, and I can't tell me how many hours of screen time and you know playback. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how many hours I've got on playback. But you know, you look at the trades. You say, yes, yes, yes. You set it up, you put it on, and then you go fast forward to see what happened. You don't have to do one-time speed. So 
I would definitely recommend that. I do it every, I, I'm constantly on it, actually. I was on it this morning. So in any event, um, if you don't give up, you know, eventually your your equity curve goes up. I mean, that's that's the game plan. That's what we're all, you know, we're doing. Eventually you start, you know, you go up, down, here, here and about. But ultimately, you, the whole plan is, is that you end up up. And eventually it kind of makes some sense and you, you get to it. But you're always changing. You're always tweaking. So. Uh, but to protect yourself from you <laughs> is, you know, that's where the discipline manager comes in because, and that, for me anyway, because that's, that's really where it kind of, kind of, I, I needed the help because I, I had the discipline. I was just not, I was just all over the board and, and by yourself in, in your, you know, in your trade cave or wherever you're at in your room and, and um, you know, who's, who's really monitoring you there. So um, that's actually how our, our, our traders group got to be is just traders helping traders and we just somebody to you know hang with um but anyway so let me go through some of the rules of what discipline manager does and how it works it's it's basically is um designed to allow you to set your own hard daily and weekly drawdown limits along with your goals so it does both both sides if your hard drawdown limits are hit you're done for the day or week depending on how you set them up or both um and then that's it. If you try putting on a trade, it'll take it right off. It just, it won't let you do it. Um, and then once your daily or weekly goal is hit, you could continue to trade, um, but you never want to give back more than what your percentage is. Uh, obviously, you're, when you start the day, you're starting at zero. So you've got to go negative in order to have some sort of, you know, uh, buffer, if you will. But once you've gotten up there a little bit and you've hit a goal of whatever it is, you know, you don't want to give all that back. Sure, you can continue to trade some of it, but you have to kind of decide what it is, and you can change that as you go. And that is what I call the dynamic drawdown limit. And it's based on the account high uh, for your day or week, depending on, you know, which rule it is. So warning boxes are displayed when your thresholds are breached. So if you hit a goal, you get a warning box saying, hey, you're, you're you know, congratulations, you hit your goal. And now your drawdown rules are now in effect, which are different than your daily drawdown rules. And of course, then if you go backwards, um, you know, you, end, you get a warning saying, uh -uh, you know, you're in a timeout kind of thing. It's basically mimics the, the 15 minute circuit breaker that the markets even put themselves in when things go nuts. So it's basically, you know, like a parent, you know, you put your in, put yourself in timeout for 15 minutes, go get a cup of coffee, go to, you know, go get some water, take a walk around the block, whatever you got to do, let the dog out. Um, come back 15 minutes later, that spot in the market that's aggravated you is probably gone anyway. And, you know, let's just put a new head. It, it basically, it's a mindset, a, a reset, if you will. So in any event, um, you know, the indicator does not go on your, uh, this is not an indicator and it does not go on your chart like a normal indicator strategy. I think it's, 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 it calculates from your account. So it runs in the background. You do not need to have it on at all. Once you've set your rules, then you can actually close it and it's just always gonna run in the background. When you come up in the morning, it'll just be there. Um, you don't have to set it every day. You, you might even forget about it. And then, you know, eventually you'll you'll hit something, a goal or something, you know, oh, okay. Um, I personally like to see it um, down at the bottom um, on the lower of this screen, there's stats. And I like to see the stats because I'll show you my peak and it'll show you where you're at. So, I mean, that's up to you if you want it or not. But let me give an example. Let's assume you set your uh, your drawdown warning for $350 and your halt set for $500. Well, once you've breached that, um, and there's different ways you could do it, unrealized P&L or P&L, we'll get into that in just a second, depending on um, you know how you, how you wanna set your rules. But let's just, in all in case purposes, just say 350 bucks. So, you have a 350 timeout. So if you come down and breach that at the end of that last trade, if you will, then you're gonna get that warning pop up that says, hey, you know, you're in a 15 minute timeout mindset, whatever you wanna call it, and you know, come back in 15 minutes. And it'll even show you um, you know, the time that it went on and it it's based on the time. So you really can't, if you put something on and try to go in again, it's just not gonna let you do it. So you can, you know, close this window. It doesn't need to be on. You can, you know, just say okay to it. It's just a warning saying, hey, that's what it is. Um, after your 15-minute timeout, you're allowed to continue to trade until your 
drawdown halt has been breached and that's the $500 we're just using as that example. So if you come down, you trade a little bit more and now you're down, you know, your last trade goes out, you're down $500. Well, at that point, you're done for the day. Or if it's a weekly goal, we could obviously be bigger than $500, but if you're, depending if it's micros or whatever. Um, in any event, <clears throat> once you've breached that, you're done for the day or the week. And of course, you get the little morning that says, eh, you know, if your halt's hit, you're done, you know, see you later kind of thing. So, yes, there are resets. I know we went back and forth on this a while back. Um, at the beginning, there were some people suggesting like we were in beta and whatnot, and they didn't want to reset. And and they they wanted to uh, you know just no I'm done that's it's it I can't do it because I can't control myself well we talk, you know lawyers of course they they said you can't control you can't stop somebody totally from their own account so we made it very difficult and and some people said you know oh, we need to get a password or something I'm like look this is your account you should have access to your account and, and so I know in future versions there's been some suggestions and we're kind of toying around with this where you go set your password and give it to your spouse or somebody or or hide it somewhere you know, where you just can't get to it easily enough. Um, so in, in any event, you can currently reset it, but it's it's not, you know, it's it's aggravating. Um, so down on the next page, um, on the bottom right, you can hit reset your rules, but the problem is you got to shut down Ninja. So you got to shut down your charts, you got to shut down everything, come back down, come back up again, and then then you're able to set new rules. But the reason why it's really kind of designed not to do that because you're in the heat of the moment and you don't want to do things in the heat of the moment. So uh, that's a weekend decision. You've made the decision over the weekend or at night or whatever that your rules are going to be your rules. You've done it in playback and you know, we can talk about that and how to do it. And you've already tested this, if you will. So that's it. So that's why it's hard to just change the rules on the fly. It's designed unlike that on purpose. So let's let's talk about better things though. Let's talk about goals. All right. So in this case, you've gone up. Now I don't, you know, whatever your goal is, you hit your goal, whatever that might be, and it says, "Bang! Congratulations, you've hit your goal." So now your new drawdown limit rules apply. So now you've you know different different rule set, and there's two rules of thumb on that. Um, and I have I have people that told me they do both, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, you hit your goal and you're done for the day. Done. Uh, I don't know if they day drink or not, but needless to say, they're done for the day. And the other option is, yes, I want to, I'm in this, in this camp, continue to trade, but you just want to don't give back as much and it just has to be a little bit more mindful. And that's called your dynamic drawdown. So once that's been hit, your dynamic drawdown comes in effect. And so in this case, let's say um, if your your halt, you, you know, you've set your halt to zero, I, I'm not going to allow nothing to come back. You're done. So after you've hit your goal and it says congratulations, boom, you try to put out another trade because you want to finish the other leg of the trade, it won't let you do it because you've set it to zero. I want to give nothing back. The other option is, you know, you give 100% back. So basically, if you go scratch for the day and you go all the way back down to zero, it'll stop you at zero uh, on your account. But, you know, it's just a waste of a day. You haven't lost any real money other than the fact that you've lost your day. Um, but there's commission, so maybe 95% or something you might want to give back to you and cover some. I have seen everything from 50%, 33%, 25%, 0%. .00%. So whatever you decide you want to continue to play with, you know, you, that it's you're the boss. You know, you're the you're the CEO of the trading business. And the way I kind of like to think about it is you've delegated your rules to the discipline manager. You've hired the manager. You're the CEO, so you've hired the manager, and it then monitors your employees. Well, your employees happen to be you because you're the trader. So you got to put your mindset in that category. So if you're if you're a trading employee, you know you get out of line. Your manager then comes in and says, you know, I'm going to tap you on the shoulder and say no more. You know, take take off today. And then at a following CEO meeting of you and you. You know, you sit down on the weekend or whatever, you figure out how you want to, what's the best way to manage your rules or how you want to tweak things. Then you set up your rules in a in a calm way. Then you give the manager, set them up in the manager. And then on Monday morning, when your employee, you come to work, then they're your new rules. And, you know, that's, that's how you got to run the business. And uh, 
So as I mentioned, this, the circuit breaker is a warning. It's just a 15 minute timeout. And uh, assuming your goal is set for say $500, it's gonna trigger the circuit breaker. Um, and then you'll be on a timeout. And then uh, the dynamic warnings. So kind of talked through this already. So um, just some examples, if your goal is let's say $500, and you have a 50% give back, so you can play with 250. Uh, you can see the percentages there. So these are some of the, the newer features, and I say newer, but it's back in 2020 already. And gosh, time flies. But in any event, so these, these were another version. Um, we've added you know, the max daily trades and some losses. Um, I don't know very many people. I know there's a few, but not many people that use that. Um, and then there's the, we broke down levels. We used to have just one level, and now we have two. So you can set your parameters, and then when you uh, get higher, it will change your percentage. Obviously, if your, your, your account's growing and growing and growing, you don't want to continue to give back, you know, what in this case, it's, uh, in this case, your halt is 50% or your warning is 30%. But once you start getting up higher and higher and higher, you don't want to get 50%. So you want to go to a different level and you know maybe kick it down a little bit. So anytime you want to change percentages to a smaller amount, you want to you want to you want to go to the next level. The dailies and weeklies are the same with the exception of daily clears at the end of the day and the weekly stays until until the Friday. Um so the uh later version of one that was uh we added because of algo started to come into play was to close the naked positions. We can talk a little bit about that. Uh, I won't really get into that, but this I do know a lot of algo people that are using these, and I actually have a hedge firm, the hedge fund that does use it. On he's got multiple licenses that they use on a bunch of their bots that they have. So it's something that kind of I, I know one guy uses it because he runs bots night, you know, at night when he's sleeping, and so that way when he wakes up in the morning. And I asked him, I says, "Has that ever popped you out?" And and they said, uh, they said, "Yeah, I've, you know, I've come down, you know." You know a couple times and it's been popped out so i'm thankful <laughs> just just like a little safety safety thing so the drawback is is that you know uh with ninja it's actually there's a ticket order number if you want to inquire about it but it's called suppressing market order so if you put on a limit order it's going to take it right off after you've breached the rules take it right off you put on you know the buy market it's going to take it right off if you think you're going to outsmart it so you put on market order well it'll put on that market order because we can't suppress the market orders it'll put it on and in a few milliseconds later it's going to come right off and so you all you got is slippage and commissions and whatever and you do that two or three times you're like okay well that's kind of dumb so you stop that um so until the uh, ninja was able to kind of get the suppressing manual thing done then that way it'll prevent it all together but in the meantime you're just going to get the commission so you learn quick um so getting started on how to do this um basically we have this monthly subscription because i got so tired of paying thousands of dollars on indicators that, that i don't even use anymore so my theory is kind of like netflix you know if you don't like it don't use it and if you like it and most people that i've noticed use it for a few months to kind of train themselves and then they and then they just cancel it which is fine you know you don't feel you don't i don't feel i took advantage of it and you don't feel that you know it's a, a big deal um, there is a 20 uh, day free trial and I would act, I would recommend doing that prior to activating any kind of PayPal activation. Um, and then there's, I'll show you how to get that. So if you go to the tools, go to the webpage, the trumper.com, go to tools. <laughs> and then the next one from there is going to be the first one. And most, a lot of these are free, actually. They're just tools that I have, ha you know, I use and some I don't, but th they're all tools that I've made for me. I mean, why else would I make them? So these are all things that I have. And a lot of them, as they say, are, are free. So you're more than welcome to just download it and have at it. Uh, check out the little videos in each one of them. That's fine too. Uh, in any event, so go to the discipline manager and then down there, you're going to see the file, which is, uh, you know, the blue one there. That's a link. You just download it, install it and play, you know, check it out. Uh, you got 20 days. And then um, if you want to know subscription um, options, if you click on the discipline manager itself right there, um, it pops up with the monthlies and the and the uh, and the annual. But for you, for a limited time only, we're gonna do a thirty percent off, um, and that is gonna be good until Sunday. So here's the catch: you get a twenty day free trial because it's already set up and established. But the PayPal thing starts in three days. So it, if I would recommend over the weekend, you know, play with it in Market Replay or something um don't activate a paypal account 
Um, the only problem is that you won't have a full 20 days because if you wait till the end of the 20 day free trial, this will be expired. So there's kind of a, a little catch there and that's just unfortunately the way it has to work out. But um, so there it is. So there's a, and I'll show you how to get this, this link here too for the free trial. So you go back to the webpage and under referrals, <laughs> oh, my voice is going under referrals, um, you click on there and then we have all these uh, hedge funds and all these, um, what do they call them? The trading, trading clubs. I, the list goes further on down of all the ones that are, that are given, you know, or allowing you to trade their money. But inside there, I have discount codes. And actually just this morning, I added the discount codes right on the main page. So uh, if you haven't cached your computer on, you may or may not see that it might have the old one or not, depending on how fast that caches out. But needless to say, you go to the discount codes and down at the bottom, and this is where I list all kinds of, all those funds that are given away, they're not given away, but you know, all the, all the trading funds accounts, I'm always, uh, you can get on the, on the, uh, the, the list if you wanna you know, get on a mailing list. There's a mailing list there you can get on and you can get these, I send out emails. Every time I get updated, I send out an email and it just says, hey, they're offering a sale or something. But the one that we're looking for right now is this one here. But you have to do that before, um, before Sunday night because this will then disappear and come off as do all, well, these obviously are old. <laughs> uh, it'll come off. Um, and then when you do do the PayPal, it's just your normal PayPal subscription and you go from there. And I will need to get your contact information because I need to, you know, your third party ID and we can go through that and how to do that. So other than that, I could just go through some questions here real quick, but hopefully that gives you a quick uh, demonstration of, <coughs> of what it does for you and how it could, you know, prevent and hopefully prevent, uh, some, some, uh, you know, accounts being blown. <laughs> um, the other thing I, I, I do want to put on here, though, is I want to go specifically, I want to go a little bit further on down the actual rules themselves. This is, it's a two page thing because I, I had to split it up in two pages because it's, it's long, the, the, the rules, but go through here. So let me just check real quick if there's any questions here. Um, old version, I didn't think daily trailing stuff. Um, this is the same version that's up on the web page right now. There is no newer version out. This is the most latest one. I have a laundry list of uh, things, suggestions that that people have suggested. Some higher priority, I think, than others. Um, but you know, it is a major thing to kind of do these upgrades. So. Um, I know I, what I went through the last one, and so that's why it's it's not like I could just go, you know, change a few lines of code and be done with it. This is it's a little bit more sophisticated, so I kind of wait until I get a laundry list of things. But my laundry list is getting a little big, and I, I, I do think it's time that I, I kind of look at some of these. And um, I, as I mentioned earlier about the the uh, you know the resets, you know, and the passwords making it even harder or none at all if you approve it, you know, you won't even be able to do it for you know a particular period of time or without a super secret password. Um, so that's one option. The other one was the uh, the stop. Um, people want to be able to. There, I forget what we called it. We came up with some name on a stop. So there's a couple other other um, things on there. I forget exactly what they are right now. I don't have them in front of me. I, sh I should probably put them in here for maybe next time, but uh, needless to say. So these are some of the rules. So I'm assuming, you know, I'm in outside Chicago, uh, but my computer is set for New York. My computer time is set for New York. So um, um, that's the 17th in the military time. It's the 17th hour. So that starts because it's never going to match your, your broker because your broker, most brokers, I believe, um, will shut you off at midnight. At least mine does anyway, ninjas. Um, and so did AMP and so does Top Step or not to, um, uh, Think or Swim. They, all, they cut off at midnight. So, um, but I don't really care so much about the broker. I want to be able to do it on the trading platform. So that's why I have it set for five, but you could set it for whatever. And if you're in a different time zone, you know, with, depends on you know where you are uh but this is you know that i just use these examples the 350 and then their halt is 500 now if people some people don't want um warnings at all and so i would recommend putting 9999 in there because then you won't see it, it'll never get hit um 
there's actually more people than I thought that actually don't use warnings. I, I did it for me because I wanted just a little time out. Um, but some people don't use them. So anyway, 9999. So, so here's your two things. And let me, I'll tell you about this, the trailing stop here. That was one of the newer features that was added. And that is, so let's say your goal here is $500 and your, your halt, I'll just go to the halt is $500. So you have a thousand dollars spread between the two to trail. So if you trail, which this is by default will trail. So if you go up $600 and lose, you're only going to be able to lose $400. You're still maintaining that thousand dollar spread. And as you, so you could basically go all the way up to $499 of profit, and then you would basically come down to negative a dollar because, or, you know, um, yeah, negative a dollar because you're only going to lose to $500. Um, if you don't check that, then until you get into your dynamic drawdown rules, this spread will maintain itself. So you'll always say you can get the $499 of, of goal but not trigger this and then come all the way back and get kicked out. So you basically maintain your spread of a thousand bucks. So uh, again, it depends on what your rules are, but I, I like that one and it, it trails up. So it's defaulted and it'll trail you up. Um, <clears throat> cautionary note on trades. Um, that's not trades. Those are hits on your account. Um, you know, people have different definitions of trade. What's a trade? Is it a setup? Is it a ninja is a contract. So, you put on a you put on a, a a two a two contract order that's two, and so that's what they count. Me, I consider that a setup. It's a single setup. It's one setup. Sure, it has two or more contracts, but it's a single setup. So it's just the 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 verbiage how we have to kind of uh, work on that. So just be cautious. Any kind of hit, as far as the discipline manager is concerned, when you first put on your order. Boom, you're going to get a commission. So, bam, that's a hit on your account. Then you take off the first order. Boom, there's a hit on your account. So, that's a second, quote unquote, trade. <clears throat> you take off your last target, and boom, hit on your account. So, that's the third. So, you can see how these kind of accumulate. So, you got to kind of play with that a little bit. Um, there's another thing that we're going to update a little bit with the max position size. So, I mean, that works right now. I don't use it. I just put, you know, 1,000 in there because. I don't think I'll ever get to that, but um, so again, nine 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 or whatever if you don't want to use it. But um, but we are gonna. There's gonna be a little tweak on that. Um, so now you've hit your goal. So now you're dealing with you know that was that uh, example I gave you. You know, you thirty percent give back if you want your time out. Fifty percent you're halted. So now you go to now you've hit a thousand bucks. So you know what are we gonna do a thousand? But now by defaulting it's doing that but you wouldn't want to i mean there's no difference between these two because they're both 30 and 50. this is going to trail up it doesn't mean 500 then nothing happens until a thousand that trails up so if you go up to 600 700 999 dollars you're still trailing 50 percent so i would not use this one or recommend using this one until you want to change your percentage so if you're at a thousand dollars do you really want to give back 50 percent maybe you only want to give 25%. So anytime you want to change your percentage give back, that's when you would um you would you know change your to the level 2. And once you do hit $1000, whatever, you know, whatever your number is in there, once you do hit that number, then you'll get another pop up that says congratulations, you hit, you know, goal number 2, and now those drawdown rules are in effect of whatever percentages they may be. Um and then the same thing kind of goes with the warning and that is I'm sorry, the weekly is the warning, only it's a little bigger. So let's assume, and I, these numbers really aren't set up that much, but let's assume you, on Monday, you got halted at $500. Well, that means on uh, Tuesday, you're going to be able, you're going to get a warning at $700. So if you lose $200 more, you're going to get a timeout, a weekly timeout, which is still 15 minutes, but you're going to get a, a timeout on that, um, unless you want to 999 it out. And then when you hit $1,000, which would mean basically you would, in this case, $1,000, you would lose, um, you you would be out for the week. You've, you've lost $500, so you would lost your daily, in this case, you would lost your daily halt. So you would get a warning that pops up and say, hey, you've maxed your daily or you've breached your daily, your halt. And then you'd also get a weekly notice saying that you've done it. So you can see how um, depends on your number. So if you have a bad day on Monday, bad day on Tuesday, bad day on you know Wednesday, um, 
you know, it, 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 a lot of times it's not going to be used um, because, it, you know, it goes up and down. But if you if you get if you trail it up and you, you, you know, make some money on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, you want to kind of say to yourself, I don't want to give too much back at the end of the week, especially on a Friday. You know, so you're going to kind of watch it. And then again, the same thing with uh, different levels when you get into that point. This was the new one that was put on. Um, not with the latest edition. And this was because of all those uh, hedge funds or prop firms, trading funding firms that are, that are, you know, using unrealized. Now on that discount page, I have a little paragraph in there about, you know, people have to really kind of be cautious with unrealized and realized because, um, you know, it's kind of hard to see if you're looking at your control panel or DOM or something like that, and you're actually staring at it, you could see what the swings are and how many ticks to the upside you're going to get because those on unrealized is counting, but it doesn't just show you a peak. Um, now over here, we do have the peak. It says to be determined right now because there's no trades put on, but as soon as one trade gets hit on your account for the day, um, that, that'll come in there. So the very first trade that comes in on your account, it's going to be like a negative a couple dollars because of the fact that it's your commissions the very first time. Before you get out of a trade, it's just going to be on there because of commissions. Assuming you have your commissions set up on your Ninja platform, by the way. Um, so in any event, um, that's, you know, that's some of the rules there as far as the naked. You've got to make sure you understand this. And by all means, feel free to reach out to me and, you know, ask me or I would recommend using the export if you click this little you know set your rules up do what you want to do you don't even have to hit apply but get them set the way you want and hit export it'll throw a little txt file text file on your desktop and it basically it just copies these rules and then you can send them to me and i will tell you and i would i i get i do this all the time and people do it are sending me the rules and i have no problem of telling you what's going to happen and then you'd be surprised that, well, that's not what I want to happen. Well, okay, that's a good thing you gave it to me because this is what's going to happen. So it's nice, to, especially at the beginning, to have a you know, second thought. Or you're more than welcome to join social hour and just talk directly to me. That's fine. Um, but anyway, that's, that's the little thingy there right there. If you have all your um, parameters set up and you can just hit save as default, so that way when you switch accounts, which right now you see them on the play button, black accounts, the only account you're going to get here. But if you had multiple accounts, you would have to set each one up on a multiple, you know, each each account needs to be set up. So uh, because you might have a micro account, which would obviously not be these numbers, you would want to have smaller numbers in there for a micro account. And so they would have its, you know, that that instrument would have those rules. And on your other account, you know, you might have this. Now, if you're using, you know, things like, you know, um, things that copy trades. There's a couple of different firms out there to have those trade um, copying abilities. Um, if you have the one main account, technically you don't have to do that, but I would definitely recommend doing all the accounts anyway, because there's a lot of times I've noticed that there's naked orders left open. And that's actually where this one, the naked orders would come into play that if the leader account didn't take it off and it left the naked order, which I have seen, then um you know if you had this check it would just make it flat so uh, let me see let me let me let's, i got a question here on top of my see um uh, so you, now i see daily trailing stuff okay uh okay did I, dave did i explain what the trail the trailing stop did i thought i'd explain that and uh, i think that's a little count and recycle ninja that are some multiple counts. Um, again, with the multiple counts, um, he's, he's asking, uh, how do I set reset multiple accounts? You would go pick the account that you want by using this little drop down arrow, like in this case, playback, and you would just come down here. It would say, um, in this case, it says apply because they're not set. But once it's applied, it's going to say reset. It'll just switch to reset, and there'll be a red, a red text down here that says you must recycle your computer, or not computer, but Ninja. Um, so when it's, when, when you do want to change, but it's only going to do this account. So if you have 10 accounts, um, which I know a lot of people are doing now, uh, if you have 10 accounts, you would have to go to this account, hit restart, go to the next one, hit reset, next one, reset, next one, reset, next one, and then recycle your machine. 
and then come in there and then you have to set them all up again. It's it's not, it's designed to not be easy. You know, you don't want to do this in the middle of the day. This is like a weekend thing. Uh, I would definitely recommend playback. You know, put it on a playback account and you can put it on a SIM account if you if you want to try playing around with it live. Um, you know, during a live market, you could do that. But I would recommend for sure playback and and see what happens. Take some losing trades and take some winning trades. See what happens. You know, let it, you know, just, just play with it and see if... Uh, that's the only way to, to do it. I mean, I understand it because, you know, I was the one that made it, you know, so I understand exactly what it does. But um, um, I would recommend, you know, just it's like anything. It's like driving a car. You know, you got to do it. Um, OK, so that's that covers all that. I think it. I'm, I don't want to go and uh, go overboard with time. So I have a few minutes left if anybody has any specific questions on rules or you know just how to get it or what to do or you know whatever i'm i'm there for you um and rob i'm looking at the questions and i gotta find the chat i don't know if any of this in chat um it's about the six box down i was just about to send you your polite five minute warning but oh, well, you know, uh, <laughs> can you do the simulated trading thing and you know take a couple losers and watch it execute you <laughs> could i do it now you mean yeah is it will it take the five minutes uh well i don't have ninja even on to be honest with you <clears throat> oh. i'd have to fire up ninja download some data so probably not five minutes you know not enough time but basically what i would have to do is i would go in here go to playback you know put my rules of whatever we want it to do you know i'm more than happy to do things in a group like if you want to do it on uh social offer anyone wants to join or something like that we could you could do it we can set it up i'll hit you know hit apply and then and then just i'll take some losing trades and, and we did i did this last week i do it all the time with people you know with you know the newer people typically they um uh, they don't they don't know how to do market replay i'll show you you know it's what it's all about you know traders helping traders you know i'm just a try i don't you know i'm not really you know the big business guy i had to be a business because ninja when they wanted me to put this on there they're the ones that approached me to be a vendor and <clears throat> and uh and i had to have a business to do that so i created the, the business because i had the name tripper uh from a prior business years years ago and uh so that's that's how it came to be but i'm not you know like like the other presenters that are you know really really i'm the you know it's just me so i'm i'm here for it you guys all i do is eat sleep and talk trading so um I'm very easily to get a hold of and, and love talking. So I have no problem setting these up with you and going through some motions and, and um, you know, some scenarios and, and, and actually doing it, you know, just that's the best way to do it is you just got to do it um, and, and take losing trades, you know, put on multiple contracts and just take a big loser, you know, see what happens. Purposely lose, you know. Um, <laughs> I could see myself doing that and the trade working out and running so far in my direction that, you know. Well, yeah, if it's going in your direction, you know, I was once told there's two rules of thumb. There's, you know, the one, as I say, if you hit your goal, stop. And a lot of people do that. And the other is, which I like, is that, you know, yeah, I just, you can keep trading, but just be cautious of it. You don't want to give back too much. So my theory is that, you know, if the market giveth, I want to take it. You know, that, that's it. Uh, Dave, you asked a question about that. If you don't want the weekly goals, yes, 999 will pretty much because you'll never, well, unless you do reach $9,999, I mean, I guess you could reach it. So maybe you want to add a fifth nine on there. But yes, yeah, so anytime you don't want a particular rule, just throw a 999 in there and it'll, <clears throat> it'll just never be reached. So um, <clears throat> that hopefully that helps. So other than that, I think, uh, let's say anybody's guide thing, if anybody wants to, um, you know, join at some point or you know contact me we could we could set up some playtime <laughs> and go through some but most people just send me emails and skype skype me or um you know i have a discord but nobody ever goes in there so um but there's there's ways to get a hold of me and go on the web pages that chat on the web page you're not going to get any robot or anything it's just me if i'm not there you won't you won't get anything um you can leave me a message if i'm there i'll answer so um that's all on I that note, Steve, I'm going to throw out the personal challenge to David to hit that 9999 and make himself 10 grand for the week. Uh -huh. There you go. That'll um, work. <laughs> but on, a, on another note, Steve, I want to thank you for being here. Your discipline manager tool sounds great. And 
you know, the fact that you're just a single guy that made this thing to help others out is awesome. And what Trader's Corner is about bringing to the greater masses. Ladies and gentlemen, if your emotions are getting in the way of your trading, Stephen Tremper of Tremper.com has the solution. It is called the Discipline Manager. And you can learn by clicking more in the link in the chat box or going to www.tremper.com yourself. His tool has been a game changer for so many traders struggling with overtrading and the other emotional issues that traders face when dealing with real money. It's amazing. Thanks again, Steve, for such a generous offer to our audience. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend weekend, brother. You too. Thanks. You're very welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, our staff at Traders Corner sifts through hundreds of pro traders to bring you the most credible and qualified to participate on our shows. Up next is the founder of Pure Financial Academy. He's their software developer and educational director. Since 2009, he's primarily focused on the development and advancements of supply and demand trading principles in the financial markets. He displays his passion in the PFA community daily and strives to provide a fun and interactive environment for all traders and investors. Here to present Understanding Trends Combined with Supply and Demand Levels is Mr. Will Busby of Pure Financial Academy. Welcome to Trader's Corner, Will. Will, are you with hey, us? Uh, Would you check you. your mute button? Yeah, thank you so much. Do you you getting my audio here? I'm getting your audio now. All and right. I can see That's your disclaimer. Fine. Okay, per you, so you do see the disclaimer, is that correct? Indeed we do. All right, my good sir, thank you so very much. Um, to all of you, I appreciate it. Number one, we're looking forward to the, to the summit, of course, have been. Uh, and then as always, we really appreciate, you know, the participants being here. It's just, I, I know it takes, you know, time out of the day. And sometimes, you know, we certainly don't want to, uh, <clears throat> you know, make you, your, you feel like you're here for some sales pitch or whatnot. So we're gonna try to keep it, um, you know, educational. Hopefully the information that we're going to provide is uh, advantageous to all of you. Um, we certainly, we certainly believe that it is at least uh, for us. So we'll go ahead and get started without uh, further ado. The disclaimer is of course there. So please read through that in its entirety, but I'll just uh, simplify it. Trading of course contains substantial risks, uh, which I, I know that we're all aware of that folks, but uh, yeah, I definitely want to just read through that. Um, risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should even consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All services and or software provided by Pure Financial Academy is strictly for your educational purposes only and are not meant to be a solicitation to rec uh, or recommendation, excuse me, to buy, sell, or hold any securities, commodities, including but not limited to futures, options, equities, or Forex. And I could probably name so many more these days, right? I mean, we have all the crypto, we have, it, so this covers everything, but, but yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting how many asset classes uh, and so on that we have, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I know I'm only limited here on time and we have a lot to cover. Um, so with, uh, let's go ahead and move forward here. First and foremost, if you don't know, you know anything about PFA um, acronym there, Pure Financial Academy, it's an online, community dedicated to supply and demand trading concepts. Uh, we actually cover uh, a vast you know, amount. Of, we don't limit ourselves to that, but suffice to say that is the pungency of our methodology, if you will. So we've been providing training materials and software to individuals looking to learn about trading since about 2009, kind of been doing this a little while, love it, super um, lucky to have uh, all of you know the, the PFA members and community. So we do believe in the power of having others there to support to support you, you know, want to be on the same path and so on. Okay, so our mission is to provide a positive and effective environment for traders and investors who wish to utilize supply and demand trading methods and share their experiences with others. So there's some contact information. Please feel free to copy that, uh, reach out. We'll post it, you know, we'll give you some links and so on, uh, kind of towards presentation. And whatever you need, we are, uh, we're here to, to help. Okay, love, uh, love the, support and we always try to to offer it to the best of our ability i think you'll come to find that so all right folks so let's get out to it okay so today as i said we're going to keep this uh for the most part educational and specifically we're going to talk about understanding trends combined with supply and demand levels um again we we like to you know we'll just share this as a matter of opinion uh supply demand levels it's funny, I was asked the question earlier today, as a matter of fact, to explain the difference, uh, or at least what we believe to be the difference between supply and demand.